Let's start it off. Here we go. I mean, quarterback countdown. We are at number 27, okay? Drum roll, please. Do you have a drum roll like Clark Griswold? After, anything? after or listening to you on the playback, you play don't do that? yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to try and avoid it. Okay. All right. So here's the, just a little recap. Yeah, I'm not going to go through, this. you know, 40, 40 to 28. I'm not going to do that. But at 30, I had Lamar Jackson. 29, I had Marcus Mariota. 28 was Case Keenum. And at number 27, 27 is famous Jameis Winston mm -hmm. yes um, hey I'm a still believer in Jameis Winston that there, look like it yeah yeah I know well yes this is one of my hardest rankings I felt like in my whole top 40 okay uh, and I say that because this is where I struggle with Jameis Winston Jameis Winston his good is really good I still believe and we'll see if he can actually reach his potential but I look at his ceiling and still go his ceiling is much higher than even some of the quarterbacks we're going to see that are ranked ahead of him. Then why 27? Well, I, I don't trust him. That's why. I just can't trust him. I haven't seen enough games of consistent good play. I've seen stretches of two and three games where I go, damn it, yeah. Jameis Winston's got it. Here mm -hmm. we go. He's going to be one of the ten best quarterbacks for the, end, the year's over. And then there's a game like the Cincinnati Bengals where it's interceptions all over the field and seems to be no gauge on, whoa, let me take a step back and re or reorganize how I'm managing this football game and maybe approach it differently. That's what scares me about Jameis Winston. You know, hey, sure, some of the off-the-field stuff leads me to believe he's a little immature on the field too, but I think that's been fixed. Uh, but, yeah, I think ultimately that's why I go there. You know, you just – he can make some amazing highlight mm -hmm. real plays, as you and I both know. Yeah. But then there's other plays where you go, whoa, okay, broke a tackle, broke another tackle. Okay, he scrambled to the left, and he throws a ball, shovel pass across his body, tried to throw the 12 yards down the field, and it gets intercepted. Oh, shocker. I mean, you, are you kidding me? Right. Where it's just stuff like that where you go, come on, man. You know, you're, you're getting to the point in your career where you have to have like a gauge or something click off in your brain and go, this is no longer high school or Florida right. State, and I just got to throw it away and play another day. So that's why he's at 27. So if, if you're this new combo yeah. in Tampa, and hey, your ticket to success, at least his first year, maybe for the next few years, is how well Jameis Winston plays, how much he eliminates those kind of plays. Right. If you're Bruce Arians, Byron Leftwich, right. better idea to collect a tape of his 20 best plays Pump them up, sit down and be like, this is the guy. We yeah. want to see more of that. Right. Or would you spend that time to create 20 plays that were on the negative side and say, okay, we like you a lot, right. but this stuff has to go. What can we do to get past these kind of plays? Yeah, I, I mean, hey, you, you, you probably want a little bit of both, but I think the more important of the two would be to show the negatives. You really? know, I, I think because first off, uh, you know, listen, I know, I know Byron Leftwich, I know a little bit. Uh, I know Bruce Arians a little bit and of course I've known a lot of people who know him to know what kind of coaching he has. I think they're naturally going to instill James, uh, confidence in Jameis Winston's game anyways by the way they call plays when he does make a good play in practice and they watch it on film they're the type they're gonna be like hey that away big guy way to throw that ball down there. I think the big thing is the continuing of the preaching of we can't do this shit, man. This is why you're not signed to a long-term extension right now. It's because of these 20 plays mm -hmm. we just put on the reel where everybody in the organization just doesn't trust you. We don't know what you are yet. Right. And I think if they came in kind of showing that, or, or at least if you gave me the option, I think that would be more important. Right. I do. Uh, and I think those are the big mistakes that Jameis Winston has to take away from his game. And they're going to have to continue to stay on him at practice when he throws a ball away. you got to be... Hey, that a way to go, buddy. That's what we need in the season, week six. Throw it away. It's okay. There was nothing there. Defense gets paid, too. They got right. players over there. You know, sometimes you forget about that. Oh, damn. Their staff's being paid. They got pro bowlers over there, too. They're going to win a few plays. So you can't always just live on that edge of, I got to make something happen magically, uh, you know, every play. But, man, he's a, when I go back and watch his tape, better athlete than sometimes in my brain that I maybe give him credit for because it's kind of ugly and a little all over the place. It's a different motion. For it's sure. a different motion for sure. Yeah. Running style too, but man, he makes a few plays running every game. Yep. And then, yes, the throwing motion, I did a little bit of this on the quarterback school and I think we're going to release that out on social media today, but yeah, you know, kind of keeps two hands in the ball, swings into swings it. it yeah. But a big time intermediate passer to where 
you know, there's skinny pose, deep in cuts, deep crossers. Holy cow, does he have great really feel for those throws. I mean, yeah. yeah, and he can really, uh, you know, push the ball and make some big plays that way in the pass game. And that's what I like. So, I mean, his ceilings to me still is top 10 potential. Mm -hmm. um, but that's got to be if and when he can take some of the dumbness out of his game. If four years ago, and I always like taking your rankings and thinking about, okay, the here and now, what they need to do to get better. Right. Uh, talk about them specifically. But then there's always fun things to do. You take a step back and look at them. How about Jameis Winston, 27, Marcus Mario to 29? I know. I mean, it was just four years ago we're talking about these two guys. They're the top two picks in the draft. Yes. I Both think. have turnover problems. Okay, both have won the Heisman, you said, I mean. Both entering seasons where. It's do or die almost. Kind of make or break. Yes. In, in their first opportunity. Right. Inside their first building. Then you go back at, at, at the top two quarterbacks from recent classes. So that's a question mark what happened in 2015. Yeah. Go back the, the, the three classes since, the top two quarterbacks, Goff Wentz. Right. Trubisky Mahomes. Right. Mayfield Darnold. Yeah. I mean, it's been a giant step up. It definitely has. Those guys have plenty of time to jump up into the teens or even the top ten. Right. But right now, when you compare them with the, the most recent top two quarterbacks, that class is failing. Yeah, it is. It's failing. They've been they, they've been um, underwhelming to this point. I mean, Marcus Mariota, he's in the same situation. It's a proven right? year. Definitely. I mean, yeah, we just haven't seen enough from him as a thrower and a passer to go, okay, if Derrick Henry can't run for 150 yards, can Marcus Mariota, for a stretch of the season, carry a team with dropping back, right? you know, being a, a guy that can be precision passer and a big-time player that way? Way. No, we haven't seen that. With Winston, we have seen all that. There's, but we know that part of it. It's the yes. Can you manage a game? If we're playing a defensive struggle type of game, can you win the game 19-16? Right. Can you be okay playing that way? I think yeah. those are the things. And of course, there's going to be a handful of games like that every year where a quarterback goes into the game and you go, oh man, our game plan is great. We should have a good day today. And you get out there and go, oh, you know, their game plan is good too. Ooh, they're giving us some problems here. And man, we don't block them as good. And then as a quarterback, at some point you have to sit on the sideline and go, okay, I got to reassess what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. You know, this game looks like it's a defensive struggle. I got to be careful about my boundaries as far as right. when I push the envelope to go, I want to make a play and when I'm not because uh, I don't want to lose the game for us. And right. that's what's happened to him a few times through his career. Kind of the quarterback equivalent if you're golfing, you hit one into the rough. How am I going to make par? Yes, from right. This don't spot? speak. Which one of those two guys is more likely to do that? Before we move on to 26, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. pardon me. Yeah, I want to ask you if you had to put all of your money on one of those two guys, mm -hmm. class of 2015. I know. Let's say only one makes I it. I know. Only one's going to be the guy okay. in that city for the next three or four years. Which one is more likely? <sighs> I'm going to go with Jameis. I am going to go with Jameis. It's not an easy call. It's really not. I mean, they both have their flaws. They both have their, you know, things that, that are positive. Uh, I, I guess I have more questions about Mariota's game than I do about Jameis Winston's game, I think, ultimately. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, I think – I think Jameis still has the type of talent where he can carry a team, mm -hmm. you know, through a game with his, you know, great quarterback traits that he does have and, and when he's really hitting on all cylinders. Where Mariota, I don't know if I feel the same way that way. And some of his great games, don't get me wrong, he's made some great plays, but, you know, defense has been great, running game's been good. Uh, I don't, just don't see him as a good of a passer and playmaker as Jameis Winston. All right. Yep. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.